Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to install and test our Riva air intake kit. Let's go. All right, so welcome back. It's a little, little humid today. You can hear locusts in the background. It's Arizona, that's weird. But uh, yeah, we just had a big storm, so yeah, it's pretty humid. It's cool, but it's humid. Uh, today, we're going to add uh, air intake kit. I've been wanting to do this for a long time on this ski. Um, I've done some other stuff on it, but check this out. So today, we're gonna install our Riva, um, called the EX Power Filter Kit. So everything you pretty much see here, instructions, New mounting uh, mounting plate, all kinds of hardware, intake tube, spark arrestor slash filter, and then the, uh, the connector. But um, so this Jeski here, if you haven't seen any of my pre previous videos, check it out. Subscribe, and you know I've done things like the uh, I got the spontons, I've done the right plate, I've done the intake rate, uh, solus impeller, I've done a small tune on it. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, what else would it be? Oh, I did a couple things on my wife's ski as well. Hers is more about storage, convenience. Mine's more about performance. Uh, but they're all in there. So check out the page, subscribe, and let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off these side panels. We're going to take off this big piece here. I don't know what they call it, but it pretty much covers the engine. Uh, so it gives us more access. we got to actually be way up here. So uh, these bolts here, actually replaced, these are uh, made by uh, PwC brackets, uh, but it's still the same size as the factory. Um, check out my other videos on that, showing me installing, installing this kit. Um, as well, it shows it later in the um, instructions, but I'm going to go ahead and do it ahead of time. So maybe I can get some light in there too. I got to take out this tray. So let's do it. So I got the lid off here. I lost one of the center pins to the uh, this dealio here. Whoopsies. Hopefully I find it in there somewhere. Hmm, we'll see. But yeah, these little pins, you push them in just a little bit and they pop out. Um, you probably saw in the video, I got a little too ahead of myself. I popped it and like half of them like flew up in the air and had to go find them. So, um, but yeah, what we got to do next we got to start uh, taking this air box apart and I won't uh, bore you all the with all the deeds but uh, I'll speed up the video um, you gotta disconnect from here you gotta cut this we have to take this fuse box off um, disconnect it then we got the ECM that we're gonna leave plugged in that comes off got to take off the uh, the usual uh, air intake this blow off uh, blow off but the um, that hose there will have a little filter on it that'll be on the actual um, bracket that was supplied by Riva. And there's a whole reason why I'm doing this, and I'll explain it at the end there. It's not really, yeah, that's the performance, but there is another reason to it, and I'll explain it when I'm done. But let's get back to uh, some high speed stuff. <laughs> sweating uh got the box out as you can see uh, word of advice the instructions that they give you instructions they give you most of these pictures as you can see this one right here engines out of the hole so it's easy to say oh yeah just don't do that so what i had to do it wasn't that bad it's just hot and i'm sweating and i get pissed um, but you've got four bolts for the box. I mean, there was all kinds of wires. There was a bunch of uh, zip ties. I think two over on this side, two or three on this side. But 
the actual bolts to hold the housing are right there's four. One, two, three, and four. This one was not fun. And they say to, there's a bunch of wires in the way, right about right here, which would be right, I'm sorry, I don't have any light. So you can see that right around here, this bulge right here, was totally in the way. So I had to undo it, move the box so I can get to the zip ties that are holding these wires to cut it, as well as the tip of solenoid or whatever it's called. It's this thing right here. So they say, oh yeah, you know, unplug that before you take it out. It's near impossible. So if you can do it, you're awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, that's right. So I got it out. Yeah, let's keep going. So this is probably why you need to check the hardware list. I am missing pieces. So they gave me four instead of six is a six millimeter spacer. One, two, three, four. I'm missing seven uh, lock nuts. I don't see any lock nuts here. I went through everything. I went to the box about five times and took apart all the paper and stuff. It is not in there. Um, missing four of the uh, eight millimeter, eight by 20 hex head bolts. I don't have those at all, uh, but I do have the eight by 16, which is right here. So I guess I'm going to the hardware store. This is really frustrating because last time I checked this kit was $310 and they can't even, they didn't even give me all the hardware. So off to the hardware store. Okay, back from the hardware store. Um, so I got my tip sensors installed and my fuse box. We're gonna put ECM here. Now let's do it now. Well, got it together. Took longer than I expected, but you know, when you're missing hardware, that's what happens. But uh, so I'll show you what I've done here. So here's your intake tube. Obviously, here's the fuse box. ECM's down here. Um, blow off a filter. And uh, one thing, a uh, couple things I noticed. And I've seen it before with other folks with the, the tip sensor here. It, uh, where it is, where these um, wires or the harness that where they or where they rest, it pulls on the on this wire here. I didn't want to mess up the wiring going to the tip sensor. Um, so I got these together just just temporary for now, uh, just to give uh, pull these in a little bit to give the tip sensor wire some slack. Um, tube was kind of a pita uh, this part right here is easy but getting it over on uh on the other side give you some light i don't know if you can see it yeah you probably can't see it but i'm trying to get in there you can see that but I'll try it here go this sucker is a pain in the ass to get it in there and uh, angle just right so this is the front part of the tube so there's all kinds of wires and traps in there but uh, you can't really see it but um, <clears throat> yeah just getting this tube angled right so I put this end here left this side loose um, 
and then once I got at least everything started, the nut started and the bolt going, but then I tighten this and then tighten the, then those up there. So it's kind of going back and forth. It was it was kind of a pain in the ass. So, but uh, yeah, I wanted to start it real quick before I put everything back on because that would suck. If I put everything back on and I have to take it right back off. But battery is hooked. Let's see what she does. She sounds a little meaner, so hopefully that equals some more power. Uh, but also, neither now the reason why I did it is with the stock intake, it sticks pretty far back. It goes way back here, probably where this tube is right here. And in order to hook anything up, because I have a, um, a program on this, a, a small program on it, and it's extremely difficult to get to the ECM to plug in. So having this bracket, it's further back. I no longer have to take off the, uh, the thing that goes here. Where is it at? Oh, it's underneath the ski. This whole thing right here. You don't have to take that off. That's all right. So you don't have to take that. I don't have to take that off anymore in order to access um, those ports. If I want to change a tune or anything like that. So. But yeah, that's another reason why I did it, but cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get this back together. Maybe clean it up a little because I feel like I sweat about a gallon of sweat on this thing as I was working out. It was hot. So we'll get it back together and then we'll uh, go test it out. Let's go. Well, made it to the lake. Yeah, easy drive here, uh, beginning of October, 97 degrees, can't go wrong there, uh, let's see how this thing does, how it does, how it does, let's go. mid-range seems pretty good but I am on a little bit flat of water and uh, I got a completely full tank of gas so I'll check it out again we have burned through some fuel maybe it'll be a little lighter so stay tuned <laughs>
more than my wife. So she should be pulling ahead of me, and she's not. So we've, made some, we've got some weird rollers out here. We don't have the regular chop. Well, we're back, as you can see, obviously. I uh, had a good rip. Um, got to spend some time on the lake. Probably spent a, a good couple hours on the lake before we headed home. But um, test went well. Um, and, you know, it's not pulling my arms out of my socket, but uh, works well with the tune that I have, the 91 tune with the throttle response. I can't remember that acronym, but um, but yeah, it went well. Um, I do need to take this back off here and um, just make sure I check the wires. You can check the wires, make sure they're not rubbing. It's just hard to do with this cow here. Yeah, I know the whole purpose of me doing this mod was so I don't have to take this off. Uh, but that's mainly going to be for uh, plugging in uh, for the software. So no leaks. Um, it looks good from here. So yeah, that's what I'm going to ride. But another mod down the, you know, done. So next probably be intake. Uh, I'm sorry. Next will be the exhaust. Uh, I'll do the exhaust next. Got a couple other things in the in the works to do on this for small mods, but um, but yeah, stay tuned. I appreciate you sticking around. For those who stuck for the whole video, thank you. I appreciate it. Please subscribe, like. It really helps the channel when you do that. So, especially folks that spent the whole almost 20 minute long video, I really appreciate it. I know it's longer than usual, but in order for me to cover a full, um, you know, install. It had to be a little bit longer, so. But hey, comment below what you think. Uh, what else can be done with the ski? I uh, I do want to get it uh, tuned a little bit better uh, by the dealer, and uh, that's going to have to be done on the water. So hopefully you get that done soon. But thanks for coming. Uh, I'm sorry it's so long before, between videos. Um, I I'm hoping to pick up the pace a little bit. Um, it's just been hectic, um, and I apologize. So, but hey. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you next time. Bye.